I swear I always feel the same after I get my hair done. I'm hungry, my head hurts, I'm sleepy, but it's worth it every single time. Anyways, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog that you're watching right now might just be the vlog that I am the most excited about ever in my entire life just ever. Today is Wednesday, August 2nd, and tomorrow I'm gonna go see Taylor Swift. Oh, I'm so excited about it. I've literally made it an entire personality trait at this point. My hairstylist actually saw Taylor Swift in Las Vegas, so she already saw her. She was just saying it was like the best experience, the best concert she's ever been to. But anyways, I'm actually staying at a hotel for the Taylor Swift concert. It's just one night, but it's all the way at the SoFi Stadium, which is in Inglewood, and I didn't want to drive back at night so we're staying at a hotel which is gonna be super fun so i have to pack everything today i'm also gonna get a car wash i already got my hair done so that's out of the way and i also have to try on my outfit because leave it to me to leave it to the very last day to try on this outfit that i've been thinking about for literally months now also over the weekend i went to solving and i found this like little like cowgirl store and i bought what i think is gonna be my favorite part about my outfit or second favorite because I really like my boots. I bought this like blinged out handmade hat. It's gonna make or break my outfit, but I'm super excited about it. I saw somebody's comment on a TikTok yesterday and it said dress to the Eros tour like you're dressing your inner child. And I love that so much because that's literally what my outfit is. I don't wanna look chic. I don't wanna look, you know, put together. I don't wanna look any of that. I just wanna look and feel super, super pretty. All of the excitement and all of the joy that I have for this concert, I want my outfit to represent that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm gonna go get some coffee and I'm gonna go get some food and hopefully that cures this hangry feeling that I have right now. <laughs> I'm on season seven of Modern Family and it's literally my new comfort show. I love it so freaking much and I cannot stop watching it. I'm at the point where I literally can't even have a meal without having Modern Family on. This show and Friends, comfort shows. seeing Taylor Swift today. You guys are coming with me. I'm seriously so excited. Also, I kind of have to leave my house in 20, 30 minutes max and I have not packed a single thing. This is totally empty. Haven't packed a single thing. It's all here. Like I have all of my things. I just have to put it in there. Let's do it. way to pick up my cousin then we're gonna drive to the hotel get ready do the whole thing and then we're gonna go see Taylor Swift that is insane
please get the Hidden Hills bagel and then could I also get a large iced vanilla latte? Perfect, thank you! 
today is Sunday and I don't think I vlogged since Friday morning when I woke up after the concert. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be in this drive through line for a while. So I'm gonna do like a little concert recap. When I tell you guys that the entire Eras Tour experience was so much better than I ever could have imagined. Like I knew I was gonna have the time of my life. I knew it was gonna be so good. I knew the songs were gonna be good. I knew she was gonna be such a good performer, but it honestly exceeded my expectations in every way. Being in that stadium felt unreal. Like I remember being with my cousin and I kept telling her like, look around at this. I've been to concerts before. I've been to Staples Center for Bad Bunny and I've been to the Forum for Bad Bunny. So I've been in like an atmosphere of a concert and like with a lot of people and stuff like that. But I'm telling you nothing, literally absolutely nothing compares to this. It felt like such a safe and happy and just like positive environment. I can't even describe it. It literally felt like Barbie world. Like I told my cousin, I'm like, this literally feels like what the Barbie movie would be in real life. Just imagine all of these people full of glitter, like head to toe, glitter everywhere, pink outfits everywhere you looked. Like there was so much pink in that stadium, it was insane. Sparkly outfits, cowgirl boots, so many dads were wearing like Swifty dads outfits. It was just, it was the cutest thing ever. I could go on and on and on about what it looked like in there, but it was just, it was literally like being in Barbie. Have a good one. Thank you. Got a little iced coffee here. Anyways, back to my recap. As for Taylor's performance, she did not stop for a minute. She would go away for like 30 seconds to change into a new outfit. She performed over 40 songs. There was confetti, there was lights, there was fire. There was choreography with every single song. Every single song you're seeing her perform, you're getting to sing at the top of your lungs with all of these people who love her just as much. It was so much fun. And the next morning when me and my cousin were like recapping the night, she described it in such a cute way. She said it was like watching someone you know perform. And that's literally what it felt like because when you grow up listening to somebody's music, you kind of have like this like emotional connection to the music because you grew up with it She's literally a Barbie in real life. Like I could not I just want to be her friend That's literally what I want to do. Everybody was just excited and happy to be there and I want to go back like that's literally it. I just if I could redo a day It would be that day because it was so much fun. Anyways, I had the time of my life I could talk and talk and talk and talk about it, but I won't I won't bore you guys <sighs> Yummy But anyways, like I said, today is Sunday. It doesn't even feel like Sunday. Like, I don't even know what day it is. It's just, it's August. That's all I know. I came to get breakfast. I'm also going to make a quick stop at Bath and Body Works because I want to get like a little soap for my house. I also kind of just wanted to leave my house for a little bit to talk to my camera, to talk to you guys because my house right now is full of family members. So there's really like no other place in my car right now where I can just talk to you guys without like conversations happening in the background. So I'm going to eat my bagel, drink my coffee, go to Bath and Body Works. I'm also going to make a quick stop at Starbucks because one of my little cousins, or not so little, he's 14, but he's visiting from Mexico ago and he is obsessed with the strawberry acai with lemonade from Starbucks. I don't know what it is about that drink that gets people hooked on it, but he literally wants to have it every single day while he's visiting. So while I'm out, I'm going to get him like a Trenta strawberry acai with lemonade. I went in there for hand soap, that's it. I was just gonna grab a bottle of hand soap, be on my merry way. I've never been like a Bath & Body Works fanatic just because if I ever wanted to go to Bath & Body Works, it always meant I had to make a trip to the mall. But I recently discovered that there's one near me. So I was like, let me go get one of these foaming soaps that I see all the time. So we're gonna do a quick little Bath & Body Works haul. Also all of their Halloween stuff and all of their fall stuff is out. And I was so tempted to grab like a fall candle or a fall soap, but it is too soon even for me. I'll do like a little fall vlog and we'll come and get some candles. Imagine I came all the way over here for soap and didn't get soap. I got the champagne toast scent. Then just because I usually have a candle and soap right next to each other on my sink, I wanted them to be the same color and scent. So I also got the champagne toast candle. This is where it started getting a little impulsive and I should have just left at this point. But I'm obsessed with my house smelling really, really good, especially because I have a dog and you know when you're like a pet owner, you have to make sure it smells good at all times. So I got this cute little thing that plugs into the wall. It also lights up and I got the scent that's called Into the Night. So hopefully this smells really good. Then to also keep this in the bathroom, I got a little room spray. This is in the scent in the stars. Then I also got something for my car just because I always see people with these and I never knew they were from Bath & Body Works. You basically buy this thing that goes in your car and then you buy the scents. I got the scent Champagne Toast again. I got the butterfly one, which I think is so freaking cute. And lastly, just because they were having a sale and today was the last day for that sale, all of their body mists, which are like the big size, were only $4. So I got the in the stars scent. 